I'm standing here at the Lahare Stadium in Khobabas, where history is in the making. Today, Alexa Nguvalva will be crowned as the first female chief of the Ovambandero people. Many people all over the country have traveled to witness this event. Earlier in the year, Kehara Nguvalva, who was the leader of the Ovambandero people, committed suicide, leaving the chief's seat vacant. Keharanyo's stepbrother, Kiles Nguvalva, who was rooting to become the next paramount chief, was overruled as Aleta Nguvalva, the deceased mother, was finally selected as successor. This highly controversial succession has facilitated in changing the perception that only men can have such high positions in society. I don't know why women were left out in the past even though they were part of the struggle. But the world is changing now. That's why I was elected as a female chief. The stadium was filled to the brim as Queen Aleta's supporters, both young and old, dressed in their fashionable traditional attire, came from all over the country to witness the historical inauguration. We're setting a big, big example and uh, it's to be emulated and, you know, we're talking about women emancipation here. Promote the women's side to, to come up and to think to, to be on par with, with men. I'm very happy about electoral Women are now recognized as leaders and men will respect us more. The ceremony was also attended by traditional leaders from the Ovaherero and the Ovambandiru tribes. The senior traditional councillor of the Kunena region urged the government to acknowledge Aleta's chieftainship. The government must remember that this was a long struggle and the vacant seat is now filled and the chieftainship must be recognized. The event was concluded with the famous Ombimbi, a traditional hymn which calls on to the ancestors for blessing. It was truly an event fit for a queen. The inauguration of Aleta Nguvalva as chief paramount of the Ovambandero people went according to plan. The event evidently united the Ovambandero and the Herero people. Treasure Kouzu reporting for News on One.